Hello, Dan Harvey for Imagineer Systems here with a guide to measuring and exporting camera solve data from Mocha to Blackmagic Fusion. For a camera moving freely in 3D space we need to track more than one plane to achieve a solve, preferably in more than one axis. It's also helpful to track planes which capture as much of the volume of the 3D scene as possible. I'll begin by drawing X-spline shapes around the near and distant planes facing the camera. Right clicking the mouse closes the shape and right clicking and dragging on a tangent handle will adjust the tension on all shape vertices at the same time. I plan to add a 3D object to this roof area in Fusion so I'll take care to align the shape with the ground plane for my inserted object and enable the surface overlay to ensure that the four corners and the centre of the ground plane are tracking correctly. The camera motion measured by Mocha is relative to the planes that we track and it's worth noting that objects should be aligned with the track planes downstream to ensure that their parallax matches correctly. I'll enable perspective tracking for all shape layers and increase the ratio of pixels used to improve accuracy and hit the track forward button to begin the tracking process. When tracking is complete I'll select the shape which defines my ground plane and switch to the camera solve tab. I'll select the focal length and motion type, in this case a large parallax change, and hit solve to solve the camera in relation to the currently selected shape. It's worth noting that you can select multiple shapes overlapping in time if no one shape spans the entire duration of the clip. The dialog box indicates that the solve is good, with 99% accuracy, so I'll export my camera data as an FBX file. Now I'll move over to Fusion and import my 3D geometry. In this case I want to import the mesh and materials. I'll remove this transform node as it's not required. I can use the objects transform widget. I'll drag the object node to the left viewport in order to view it. Now I'll import the FBX file for the camera solve I exported from Mocha and select Cameras, Animation and Nulls for the point cloud. I'll drag the Merge node to the left viewport in order to view it. In the perspective view we can see the solve camera and its motion path. I'll right click on the view output and select Mocha Camera in order to see through the imported camera. Now I can see the nulls for the corners and centre of the three surfaces I tracked in Mocha. Now I'll drag my geometry into the merge and adjust its orientation. I'll add a light and drag that into the merge, tweak the material on my geometry and scrub the timeline to preview the camera move. The geometry's parallax doesn't currently match that of the points in the point cloud. So I'll view my merge from the top in the right viewport and align the geometry with the centre point of the ground plane. Then switch to the perspective view and align it in the Y axis. Now I've aligned my geometry correctly I'll connect it to a render node, add a loader for my background plate and a merge node for the final comp. Finally, I'll play back the timeline and view the result. Thanks for watching. For more Mocha tutorials and workflows for sharing Mocha data with third party applications, check out the videos at imagineersystems.com.